Okay, so we're going to do the AR control. It'll be pretty simple. All it's going to do is it's going to know where the ball is. And only on the x-axis, it's just going to follow it. And, and yeah, we, we, can, we can work in a little skill level, uh, skill level uh, variable as well. So that can change. Um, okay, so we'll, yeah, just create a new script, call it AI controller. It's going to create a, uh, yeah, a, a public transform, which will be the ball. Ball. Okay, and also a, a float that's going to be the, yeah, the skill level. And that's going to be between 0 and 1. Let's go. Okay. Beautiful. And yeah, okay, so how we how we got to do this is we got to get the get the position, get a vector 3 of the position, add, change one value, and then set the position. Right? We, we can't go straight into the transform and change one value of the position. We've got to do it as a whole vector 3. So, so we just so say vector 3 new pods equals transform dot position oh, excuse me okay and then new pods dot x is going to be is going to be a, a lerp value between where it is and and where exactly where the ball is so we say mathf dot lerp okay between between transform dot position dot x and ball dot position dot x by skill level. Yeah, and then we just reassign it. So we say transform dot position equals new pods. And, and that's all we've got to do for this script. And then we can we can uh, go to our we'll throw throw it on our player player controller as well to see to see see how it works. Make sure we assign the ball to the script. Maybe set the float skill level to 0.1 or something. Do another one for the computer controller. The ball. Okay, we'll make the computer really good. And see how it goes. Oops. Okay, so one of them worked. Uh, what's happened there? Oh. Oh, the, sorry, this player player controller for some reason has a rigid body attached to it. That can happen. Okay, try it, try it again. <laughs> All right, and now the looks like looks like we're getting the uh, no no x-axis of the of the ball because we were playing with that earlier. So we just make sure we put this back to 0 point, 0 point 0.2 and 1. It's this uh, range. 0 0.2 and 1. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, and now now we can now we can start playing with it. Say so if it's really good, it's going to follow it exactly and go on forever. We can put the skill level down really low, and it's like you see it's moving but very slowly, and it might just be a bit too bit too slow. Yeah, I mean, and there's a few things we can do to you know change the difficulty, like maybe make the paddles a little bit shorter. I'd I'd say at this point that the, the they're, they're both going to be, even with a really low skill level, it's so easy for them to block it. There we go, one of them just scored a point. Cool.